Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to work on number 45 on the CBEST Elementary Math Practice Test. We're going to use a graphic organizer to help organize the information in, in this problem, so make sure you have a pad of paper out when, you, when we do this, okay? I'll read it over. As I do this, I want you to follow along. Number 45. Use the statements below to answer the question that follows. It gives, that, gives us that uh, scenario in the box, so really read that over carefully. Um, you can pause this video, read it over. I'm going to read it over now, but make sure you go back and read it over a few times. It says, there will be a softball pra there will be softball practice every Saturday throughout the season with the following exceptions. Exception number one, if it rains, softball practice will be canceled. Exception number two, there is no softball practice on the third Saturday of the month. If it is Saturday, but there is no softball practice, then it must be true that, and then we have options. Now before I read those options, let's take a moment and let's organize the information. And we'll start by, uh, we'll start by drawing a, a circle here. This circle is going to represent all the practices that happen. Because you're, you're, de you're a dedicated softball player, you want to make every single practice. So that circle represents all the practices that are going to be happening. However, Sometimes, sometimes it rains. So a chunk of those days are going to be, uh, a ch rain is going to affect a chunk of those practices. So during this overlap here, when you would have had practice and it rains, you're not going to have practice. And, and on some of those days, it's the third Saturday of the month. And we all know that the third Saturday of the month, there's no practice. So there's going to be some overlap there with the third Saturday. Now, what does this mean? Well, this means a couple things. One, it, it means that, here, let me get my uh, lighter pen here. It means that on these days when it's third Saturday, there's no practice. And it also means that sometimes it's raining and there's no practice. Okay, so I could, I could write that as it's when it's raining, there's no practice, and sometimes it rains and it's the third Saturday and it's no practice. Now I go about going through these options here. It says, uh, what must be true if there's no practice on that Saturday? Is it raining? Um, well, not necessarily. It could be raining or it could be the third Saturday. So this, it might not be the reason, practice might have been canceled, not because of rain, but it might have been the third Saturday. So I eliminate that one. This one says, uh, it is the third Saturday of the month. Well, potentially it is the third Saturday, but it's possible that practice has been canceled because of the rain. I cross this one off. This one, it is raining and it is the third Saturday. Well, that is definitely going to be true for some of the days. Some of the third Saturdays, there will be rain. And for those two reasons, it's not, there's not going to be practice. But that's not necessarily the only reasons why um, there would not be practice. It doesn't have to be both. Then D here, D is the correct answer. It says it's raining or it's the third Saturday of the month. And that would cover all these areas of no practice, right? It could, it, there could be no practice because it's raining. That would be these days and these. And it could be the third Saturday of the month and that would be these days and the ones that overlap. And the, so D is the correct answer here, team. And then finally, softball games are on the third Saturday of the month and, and that's just wrong, right? That just goes against this one here. We cross that one off. So the answer is D. And the way I organized the information was I created a Venn diagram that sort of uh, um, accounted for overlap, overlapping uh, events, and for unique events like just rain or just uh, third Saturdays of the month. This, this Venn diagram can really help us when we look at um, more complex problems. But well, I think it's a good way to think about the problem, and at least for some teachers, it's going to give you that graphic organizer just to help think through problems that are set up like this. So hopefully you can use it, and it will help you get to the answer D. 
Otherwise, team, I hope you have a great day, okay? All right, take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.